Well, in various parts of Delhi, street artists have painted murals on the walls to bring out some of the city's vibrancy for G20. Delhi is definitely really decorated for G20. It's a treat for the eyes. We met one such artist and his team who had quite an interesting story to share about what went behind all of this. Listen in. So Delhi street art is, uh, I call it an art up. Um, so it's always been a, a, like a startup in the creative space and it's uh, done something which is bring about a community involvement, engagement in public activities to beautify and to keep our spaces cleaner and more colorful. So G20, uh, I think pretty soon after the announcement was made that India will be the next host, which was I believe last year in October timeframe, uh, we were already working with uh, several city agencies. We have been doing it for many years, of course. And then uh, one of them, the MCD approached us saying, we really should do something quickly on G20. I said, okay. He found us a very nice location, very close to Nehru Place actually, which was an old Dalao, so it's kind of interesting, it's a true representation of India. Of the two or three designs that we presented, the one that resonated most for them was a representation of the monument, key monuments and key landmarks from the 20 nations. So that was our very first, I believe the very first G20 mural anywhere, uh, probably in the country, definitely in Delhi. Since then, we've also painted uh, pillars near INA Delhi Hut, uh, which have been done in a Madhubani style. And again, the theme on that we picked because it was right outside of Delhi Hut. So we said it has to do with our own um, ethnic styles, our culture, our folk art styles. And it, it's, it, this is now presenting India to the other G20 nations. The others were about how do we bring some of their elements to present to Delhi, which had been done before. Similarly, we did an underpass from, which connects from South X part two to South X part one. And this U-turn had always been neglected and bad shape, but very heavily used. And we had a, quite a tough time painting there because it was very hard to actually slow down the people coming down the ramps. What we try to do with street art, as we have been trying to do or since 10 years now, it'll be 10 years this month actually, uh, is to create a vision of a clean space. The more clean space visions we can create, the more people will treat it like one and they will not filthy it up, they will not use it as a urinal, they will not use it as a dumping ground. So I call it the clean switch. So we, with our artwork in public spaces, it may be the dumpiest, dirtiest of places, but the moment the artwork goes up, uh, we don't have to write a lot of messages, slogans, logos, but the fact that it's cleaner, it dissuades at least maybe one or two out of 10 people from doing something which they would normally do on a dirty space or a dirty wall. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.